Hey, thank you for tuning into the channel. Uh, today we're doing technical analysis on AMC, uh, and we're going to determine whether this is the right time to buy the stock. Is it really the dip that we need to find? You know, as everybody says, buy the dip. And apparently, when you buy the dip, it, it dips further, right? So the indicators that we're going to add here, it's going to give us some idea as to are we really buying a dip or are we really buying uh, not so true of a dip? Okay, so I'm going to use about four indicators that I think are very um, effective in, in, in determining, um, you know, the dip, right? So very first one we're going to add is the, as we all know, all right, very first thing before we get started, right, we already know this is going down, right? The only unfortunate part is, Visually, when you see something, it looks like, okay, it's going down and it's very obvious that it's going down, but, but there's no guarantee that it's not going to fall any further. You know what I mean? So this is where we're going to add those indicators and, and come back with that. So let's add moving averages. Very first one, right? So I'm on a daily chart. Again, if I was doing a day trading, I would go for one minute chart, five minute chart, three minute, 30 minutes, probably, uh, probably an hour, but but if, if you're like swing trader, if you were trading where you buy it today and you sell it in the future or, or you want to hold on to it for a long, then you got to go with the daily chart so you get a better idea that how is it behaving every day. So moving averages, you add um, 20. So the moving averages that I add is 20 periods, uh, 50 periods, and 200 periods. In simple terms is that I'm going back 20 days and see how the average out, if they average out the price, how much it has fallen, right? Then you take 50 days, which is a brown line here. Uh, it tells you last 50 days, how is it behaving? And then you look at 200 days, last 200 days, how the average is behaving, right? Now, if you are a long-term investor, uh, you, I don't think anybody with the long-term investing, uh, investing, if you're a 401k or, or something that you, you know, you're building your portfolio, will be looking at 50 or 20. You'll be more, most likely looking at 200. 200 is the indicator that is mostly used by the uh, institutional banking, which is your, all the investment companies, right? So looking at the moving averages, you know, 20 days, pretty obvious is going down. 50 days is also kind of obvious is, is going down. However, you see the difference between the price. 20 days, the average was $17. 50 days, the average is $23. However, if you look at 200 periods, it's not so much going down, right? It's actually, it's picking up, right? So seems like the 200 average is $34, right? Now, relative strength indicator also is one of the charts. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up. Okay, here we go. Now that relative RSI, that gives you an idea on a daily basis. What is the pressure right now? Like are people overselling it, overbuying it? Anything about 50, it's always great. That's to the that's like the middle line right now. If you look at it from from the daily basis, right? So there was massive selling went on at this point, which was January, right? Now, at this point, you add around 37, right? And and it looks like it's, it's sort of trending up at this point, which I believe it's an indicator that, okay, you out of the dip a little bit, right? So we're going to also add, add, add the MACD, which is the moving averages, convergence and divergence, here, um, when it when the brown line, which is your MACD, crosses above the signal line, which indicates that okay, this stock is taking off a little, all right. And from daily perspective, you can see this is peaking out, right? So you you wait to see these both indicators, RSI and MACD, and if if they show strength, all right, which means that it's, it's it stays above fifty. And this is going upwards. You got to find an entry point. So, for example, let's say if I was to buy this today, right? I would buy it today, right? Because you're already out of the danger zone. Because when you have a mess of selling going on, right? Then certainly it would it would it would back up, right? Like it, people will buy more 
and it would certainly go up. And I could, we could probably look at here, for example. Um, yeah. So let's say in December 13th, a massive selling went on. But then after that, if you notice, it went up, right? The price went up, moving averages went up, everything went up, right? So this is sort of gives you an indicator that, okay, looking at the historical instance, um, and if you if you if you wait and you see that okay this is going toward upwards trend then you out of the dip so you buy that right so these are these are the indicators that would so, sort of give you an idea and also you could look at the institutional bankings right what are they doing right these big big dogs what are they doing now AMC Institutional Holding is 31% of the shares is, hold, is held by um, institutional banking, right? They have increased their positions by $36 million. They decreased their position by $5 million. If you net that, that's still almost $31 million. Recently, there are new positions uh, added on. It's $5.2 million. They only sold about $1.1 million, which means... When institutional bankings, people, um, Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, all these folks, when they purchase these things, right, um, they have a good indication. They're usually looking at a 200 average, right, 200 moving average. So, and, and looking at 200 moving averages, I don't know, I can't zoom out. Hold on, guys. So, looking at 200 moving average, it seems like it's working its way up, okay? So... Yeah, here we go. I got it. So looking at 200 moving average, it is up. If somebody was to invest this money, um, and if somebody waits to see what happens for a day on this, on this, on this MACD and RSI, and if they go, if they start to go up, you got to take it and you got to look at 200 moving averages. So this is my quick technical analysis on this stock and i feel like this stock is definitely uh do, doing great um in terms of you know picking back up so hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please hit that like button subscribe and and i'll be making more videos on all the other stocks that i find and i will be going over other stocks that maybe are not that expensive and cheap stock and we can do some technical analysis on those as well so hope to hope to see you guys again um uh, thank you for tuning in